In an emergency, you want to get to the hospital as quickly as possible. An ambulance seems like the fastest way, but a new study says in Louisville, it's not so fast. Good afternoon, I'm Rachel Platt. A new study released today very critical of the response times and takes a look at why and compares it to other cities our size. WHAS 11's Heather Fountaine on your side tonight, breaking down those all important numbers. Heather? Rachel, a lot can happen in three minutes. In fact, let's start a timer right now, according to the, a new report by the Pegasus Institute, ambulances in Nashville get to a scene three minutes faster than an ambulance would here in Louisville. They say it's because Nashville and other surrounding cities like St. Louis and Cincinnati have twice as many ambulance providers. But folks at Louisville Metro EMS argue more providers isn't necessarily better. We're taking a look at both sides right now. No one ever wants to call 911, but when you do, you expect the help to be there fast. But a new study released by the Pegasus Institute suggests ambulances here in Louisville may not get to you as fast as EMS would in another nearby city, citing national survey data. In Nashville, the response time is 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Here in Louisville, the response time is 10 minutes and 19 seconds. The study says Louisville has 13 ambulance providers, but it's about half as many as you might see in Nashville. Why? Because Kentucky requires a certificate of need license or a CON. Harris says without that requirement, more providers could help tackle the 911 calls in Kentucky. The more competition that you have in an existing market, the more you're going to get lower prices, the more you're going to get innovation, all of those things that come along with that, that Louisville's being somewhat cut off from because of having higher barriers to entry and fewer providers in the marketplace. We showed the report to Diane Vogel, the assistant director at Louisville Metro EMS. She says more isn't always best. It's very challenging when you start to get multiple agencies that have differing operational requirements that they want to work. She says although Louisville Metro EMS works well with other providers here in Jefferson County, it's not as simple as the closest unit goes. You know, if they set up a geographic boundary and they say, well, we're making them only in this particular square, and you have your heart attack on the other side of that square, although I'm the closest resource, that doesn't mean I'm, I have to go. And that's not what the community wants. Vogel says the Louisville Metro EMS average response time to high priority calls is 8 minutes and 52 seconds. The national average is 8 minutes. We're very comparable um, in, the, in the nation to what response times actually happen to be. She suggests hiring more people to work for existing providers rather than adding more ambulance services. The Pegasus Institute standing by their findings from national survey data, and they're hoping that lawmakers will reconsider the CON requirement. Now, remember when we started that timer at the beginning of this report? Let's take a look at it now. It has been just about three minutes. The Pegasus Institute found on average that Louisville ambulances take three minutes longer to get to you than they do in Nashville. Remember, I told you that in the beginning and the time that it took for us to do this report. It's been just that. Just goes to show you that three minutes matters, especially in an emergency. I'm Heather Fountaine, WHAS 11 News.